Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, today we will do a partial question on PSPM1, Chapter 2, Session 2020-2021 uh, with Madam Shahida from Kemenes. Okay, the question about a student took 15 minutes to cycle from his house to a school. He start from rest and reach a maximum speed of 4 meter per second in 5 minutes at constant acceleration. After reaching the maximum speed, he decelerate uniformly to 2 meter per second in 3 minutes and continue cycle at a speed of 5 minutes. He then took 2 minutes to decelerate uniformly and stop. Okay, so this is a figure uh, how uh, this a student is cycling from uh, his house uh, from his house to the school. Okay, so what information that we have here? Okay, the information that we have here is the journey take 50 minutes. So the total journey here is 50 minutes. So, and then he start from rest. So this is his house. So we put here u is zero. And then it reached the at maximum speed at four meter per second in five minutes. So within five minutes, so it reached v1 four ms negative one. Within 5 minutes, his speed is already 4 meter per second. Okay, with acceleration, uh, constant acceleration, meaning we have acceleration, of, uh, acceleration is positive value, unknown. After reaching the maximum speed, he decelerate uniformly 2 meter per second in 3 minutes. So, meaning within 3 minutes, uh, the velocity is dropped until 2, 2 meter per second. And this uh, happened at deceleration so deceleration so the a here is negative value lah. we don't know the unknown okay all right and then it say in two meter in within three minutes and continue cycling with this speed for five minutes so meaning uh, after two uh, the cycle reached two meter per second we continue cycling with this speed for five minutes so meaning the v for number three also here is two uh, so here, he, because the word the continue with this speed, meaning the A here is zero. There are no acceleration uh, within this five minutes. He then took two minutes to decelerate uniformly until stop, meaning within two minutes, it will finish the school V equals to. So my V final here is zero, meaning it stop, stop, because the word so this is the gambaran the gambaran lah for the uh, the student experience here okay so the first question what they ask you they ask you to sketch so they ask you to sketch and label the speed versus time for the whole journey so we need to look at the speed so we focus on the speed so what do we have speed here so we start with speed is 0 and then we have 4, we have 2, we have 2, and then we have 0. And how about the time? So they give you time in minutes. So we need to change here into a second. Okay, sketch a graph for speed versus time for the whole journey. So what the first thing we need to do, we draw the axis. Okay, this is my axis. So speed, V, M, S, negative 1 against time. But I put in second because the best way is put everything in SI unit. Okay, so if we only have 2 and 4. Based on the diagram, we have 2 and 4. Okay, then we have 5 minutes, 2 minutes. So I change everything into second. So the first one is 5 minutes. So if I change into, so how do I change 5 minutes into second? So just time 60. So you get 300 minutes, second. And then another, uh, so this one is 3 minutes. So 3, 5 plus Three, you get eight minutes here. So we change into second four eight zero, and then this one I get seven eight zero, and here is nine hundred because I change everything in SI unit. Yeah. So actually, this one is five minutes in minute. This one is eight minutes. This one is thirteen minutes. This one is fifteen minutes. Okay, so how is the graph look like? Okay, this graph, the student start from initial velocity is zero. And then it reach at four. So the graph straight line. Because at constant acceleration. And then what happened? It decelerate until it's two. So it's decelerate. And then 
it continue with the constant speed okay and decelerate to zero back so this is how your graph look like Okay, number B, they ask you to calculate the acceleration of bicycle for the time segment 0 to 5 minutes and 13 to 50 minutes. So, we need to find these two acceleration. So, for number 1, okay, number 1, we want to find the acceleration within 0 to 5 minutes. So, actually, 0 to 5 minutes is within A uh, from uh, 0 to 300, okay. So, we know the acceleration, we can use formula V minus U over T. Okay, so if you look at back your graph, the velocity at 5 minutes or 300 seconds, so 0 to 300 seconds is 4. So, 4 minus 0 divided by 300 minus 0. So, I will get my answer 0 0.0133 ms negative 2. So, this is my answer for 0 to 5 seconds. Okay, number two, within acceleration within 30 to 50 minutes, or if we change into seconds, 7802900 seconds. So the formula is the same V over U over T. So by V for uh, 900, uh, we look at back because it stopped. Eh? So 0 minus 2 divided by 900 minus 780. So, I use calculator. So, I will get my answer is 0 0.0167 ms negative 2. So, this is the acceleration and also uh, this one I will get, sorry, negative eh, because it's decelerate because it's final. So, this one I will get deceleration because it's stopped here. Okay. The last question, number C, they ask you to determine the total distance from his school from his house to the school okay so we look at the back to the graph so total distance is equals to area under graph for graph v against t okay so if i look at my area under the graph i can divide into one two three four section so we divide into four section for the first one, half time 300 seconds time the speed is 4. We plus with the half time 4 plus 2. This one I use trapezium 180 plus 300 times 2 plus 1 over 2 times 2 times 120. Okay, so this is my area under the graph. So I will get here 600 plus 540 plus 600 plus 120. So I will get my total is 1680 meter. Uh, so you look at the area under the graph. Okay. All right. That's all. Thank you.